Hey guys, Shane here, CryptoFish YouTube channel. So today we're going to go over a little Cardano news and um, see what my rigs did over the weekend. Alright guys, be back in a bit. Alright guys, real quick before we go on, I got something going on called Bitcoin Fridays. So what I do is every Friday I give away Bitcoin. So be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell below. Uh, there will be an enter to win video that comes out every week that you'll have to enter to win on. And then on Fridays, of course, we will pick a winner for Bitcoin Fridays. It's really pretty easy, guys. Um, with that, let's get into the uh, Cardano news. See you in a bit. All right, so uh, Cardano news over here at BC Focus again. Uh, Charles Hoskinson says Cardano will soon attain its trillion-dollar mark. That is a pretty bold, um, pretty bold statement. I I don't have any idea how that guy comes up with that, but we'll find out here in a sec. Charles Hoskinson, the founder and CEO of Cardano, believes that Cardano could become the first trillion dollar cryptocurrency in the future. He said this would be possible because global adoption of the world's first peer reviewed blockchain will only increase with time. Um, speaking, I would love to see Cardano as the first trillion dollar cryptocurrency and the reason being is that would effectively mean that we have built a self-sustaining economy, says Hoskinson who is hopeful about the prospective success of the currency. But data indicates that Cardano's total value at the time of the writing was around four and a half billion, and it seems to be far away from attaining the goal of being a trillion dollar currency. Uh, far away is a, uh, to put it lightly. Uh, but Hoskinson has got something more to say. Hoskinson, who is also the co-founder and ex-CEO of Ethereum, reportedly didn't make the statement on the basis of mere speculation. As reported by Ethereum World News, Hoskinson is not only the one to believe that Cardano will be the first cryptocurrency to climb up the trillion dollar mark. Uh, the Cardano community shares the same opinion. Hoskinson pointed out that Cardano users are mostly concerned about its development. Unlike other currencies, where the focus resides mostly on trading. That is a major difference maker that will help Cardano attain its trillion dollar dream. I would love to see ADA uh, achieve that level of prominence or currencies connected to ADA achieve that level of prominence because then it basically means that we built a private system that is built in consistency and fair rules for everybody in the world, not just for the people who happen to be privileged, he added. I don't know about you, I don't see that happening, but I guess wishful thinking is uh, what they would say in this situation. All right, so Cardano right now, 4.3 billion sitting at 16 cents. So I wonder what that would actually be if it was $1 trillion. So let's see if I can do some math here real quick. This is just some rough rough math was one trillion one zero 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 so right there that is one billion is that right one trillion hundreds hundred thousands millions billions one trillion all right divided by Four five zero 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 four point five billion because that's what they said it was on that report, so we'll just go with that. So it would have to go up two hundred and twenty two times market cap. Now, if it did that, of course, because this is just speculation, just throwing numbers around here, playing around a little bit. So times that times point one six. Cardano would then be $35.50 a coin if it hit a trillion dollars. Going up 220%, you know, I don't know, that's not bad, I guess. 
how much is actual Cardano market? We got two twenty-five billion. So I don't know, man. I'd like to see Cardano at thirty-five fifty. I'm holding a decent amount of Cardano. Never know. I guess it's wishful thinking, right? All right, so let's check out and see what the rigs did. Um, Fourteen dollars seventy-five cents worth of uh, Ethereum Classic, and Bitcoin Gold is at seven fifty-eight. Now the problem, my last video, I said maybe two videos ago, I said I was going to be converting Bitcoin Gold to Ethereum Classic, and converting the Ethereum to straight to Ethereum Classic. Well. For some reason, Bitcoin Bitcoin Gold on Mining Pool Hub is not converting. So if we go over to the auto exchange, if it'll pull it up, it may take a minute. Got super fast internet here. All right, so as you can see, auto exchange to Ethereum Classic, Bitcoin Gold here is on. All right, as well as everything else. So here's Ethereum right <coughs> right, right here. <laughs> Excuse me. Ethereum is. So, yeah, we got Ethereum is on as well. So, for some reason, though, Bitcoin Gold is not converting. Don't know why. But maybe I'll, I was going to set it up to where um, the NVIDIA rig was just going to mine Ethereum Classic. But, of course, I have that 1063 gig card. And it won't let me do it because there's not enough memory on the card. It's got to be at least 4 gig. I was going to get a rid of that card a while back. But um, I decided to hold it because I was Bitcoin gold. You can, you can mine with it fine and it seems to be doing all right. But now I can't mine Ethereum with it or Ethereum Classic. Which is the coin I wanted right now. So it's making me kind of rethink again. Maybe I want to um, get rid of that card again and just... You know, put that money towards another 1070 Ti. So I may uh, revisit that again and look into it. But all in all, they're they're running okay. Um, probably should have more money than $22 total. So I might go back to mining Ethereum, converting it to Bitcoin, and then just buy some Ethereum Classic because right now converting it to Ethereum Classic, I don't think I'm making as much money. Um, I'll probably find out, well I will for sure find out um, Thursday when I do the final numbers for this week, but it's not really looking too good. I, I would think that would probably be up around $18 to $20 if I was just converting it to Bitcoin, but anyways, we'll see. We'll find out here in a couple days. Uh, total value mine, 573 so that's up uh, about $25 or so, up over last week of 547 So all in all, that is good. Bitcoin is still staying strong. Um, it's trading level, I guess, sideways. It's been going up a little bit, but it's not a huge spike. 7755 but all other altcoins have been kind of dropping. Bitcoin dominance keeps keeps climbing, so... People are just getting into Bitcoin and maybe a few other little coins. You know, some things are up a little bit. Stellar, EOS, Monero, but other than that, nothing big. So, I think I'll let this ride out the rest of the week and see, see how it goes. And then um, I'll reevaluate then and go from there. Alright guys. So I guess that's going to be it for today. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, just put them down below. Again, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. And um, with that, I will see you all in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.